This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by ajuice.com. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and in this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create some super glitch animation inside of After Effects without using any plugins. Using this technique, you can create some very interesting looking glitch animations and add it to your titles or logos and make them look super cool. So without any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Hey guys, make sure to check out I Want It All bundle from AE Juice, which contains over 5000 animated elements, transition, presets, and titles for your projects. It comes with a handy pack manager plugin, and this is one of those investments that will last you for a lifetime. Oh, and they also have a free starter pack, it has over 100 animations that you can try it out for free. For more information, check out the link in the description below. Alright guys, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. I'm gonna go with 2K resolution. So 2560 into 1440. You can of course go with 1920 by 1080p as well. Let's set the duration to 10 seconds long and call this main as this is gonna be our main composition and hit OK. Then I can create one more composition, which is going to be a text placeholder. So let's call this text and hit OK. Then I'll select the text tool from right over here and type in the text that I want. I'm going to type in something like super glitch. You can of course type in anything that you want. I'm using the heading compressed pro font, but you're free to use whichever favorite font that you have but i really like this one so i'm gonna go with this with the size of 150 align it into the center if you don't see this align time you can find it under windows align it should be on the top just above here so we have our text maybe i'll increase the size a bit more to around 165 oh make sure you select this and set this to 165 all right align it into the center and let's now go ahead and add a little bit of animation to our text so to do that let's go right over here in the animate section and add a position and then go right over here in the animator one property add an opacity for the position i'll set this one to 60 and opacity down to zero let's go into the range selector so now we can animate the offset to animate our text just like that so i'll set the time indicator to around one second and 10 frames set the offset all the way up to 100 go back and set this to minus 100 go into advanced properties and set the shape to ramp up and increase the ease high and ease low all the way up to 100 so now we have something like this now i want to make it a bit more random so i'm going to turn the randomize order on and now we have this really interesting look now if you're not happy with the way the text looks you can also always play around with the random seed so i can just move this and let's see what we get pretty cool yep i'm happy with that so now we have our text ready to roll now let's go ahead and create a new composition which is going to be our glitch and basically this is going to act as a glitch map for or to drive the animation so let's hit ok hit ctrl y to create a new solid call this f for fractal noise and go into effects and preset type in fractal noise and there are a number of different things that you can do with this effect so the first thing that i'm going to do is set the fractal type to dynamic and let's set the noise type to block as this is going to help us to achieve that super nice and glitchy effect let's increase the contrast really high so we'll go somewhere around there and let's bring down the minus and let's bring down the brightness to minus 60 i'll go into transform properties unlink the uniform scaling and then scale the width to around 150 
and scale the height or bring down the height to 20. So we get the super complex kind of a glitchy look, but we obviously want to animate this. So in order to animate it, we need to animate the evolution. So what I'm going to do is add an expression to evolution, which is going to help us to animate the evolution. So I'm going to hold alt and click on the stopwatch and type in time times. Let's go with 2000. And now if I play this, you can see we get the super random glitch. And that is all we need to do right here. Let's go back into our main composition, drag and drop in the text as well as the glitch on the top of the text or below the text, hide that. And I'm going to use a super interesting effect on our text that is called displacement map. So I'm going to go into effects and preset, type in displacement map, double click to apply that up. In the displacement map layer, I'm going to set this to the glitch comp that we just made. So right off the bat, you can see we get this really interesting look. And there are a number of different things that you can achieve using this. So first of all, let's set the time indicator at the very start and I'm going to animate the max horizontal and the max vertical displacement. So let's create a keyframe on both of them. Set the max vertical displacement to zero and set the max horizontal displacement to around 60. All right, I'm going to select the layer, hit U so we can see just the keyframes. Now I'll just zoom in a bit into my comp. Let's go to 10 frames maybe. I'm going to increase the horizontal displacement to 160 and also create a keyframe on the max vertical displacement. Then I'll go to 15 frames and bring down the max horizontal displacement to minus 20. Also, I'm going to create a keyframe on the max vertical displacement. Then I'll go to one second. Now I'm going to set the max horizontal displacement to zero and create a keyframe on the max vertical displacement. Then I'll go again 10 frames forward in time. Set the max horizontal displacement to six and max vertical displacement to six as well. I'll go again to 20 frames. That is 10, 10 frames forward in time. And just copy these keyframes. Control C and Control V. So now we have this very interesting glitch animation as you can see, but it doesn't look really that complex at the moment, right? So to make it more complex, what I'm going to do is select the displacement map and duplicate this Hit control D to duplicate it. And then I'm going to move my time indicator right over here at one second and 10 frames. And I'm going to change the value of the second that is the displacement map to minus 11 and this one to zero and then it settles down so we have a really cool animation right over here a little bit of glitch and then it settles down now to make it look a bit more complex what i can do is create a new adjustment layer let's put this on the top and add a very interesting effect called scale wipe and this effect is used a lot while creating some super amazing glitches so CC scale wipe, I'm going to apply that up. Let's increase the stretch to around 55. So as you can see, we get a really interesting look, but it's not in the position that we want. So we need to rotate this to zero and we get this really interesting look right off the bat. So I'll keep it, maybe I'll go around 13 frames, hold alt and open square bracket to crop that up. You can also, you know, go into edit and just split the layer if you want. And I'll keep it for a few frames, maybe something like that. And then hold alt and close square bracket. So basically we have this animation for a few frames and then it goes away. So now I'm going to duplicate this Hit control D, move this a bit forward in time and set the scale wipe direction to 90 degrees, I guess. Oh, not 90, maybe 180. So what this is going to allow us to do is get this really cool effect, as you can see. And it looks super cool. Perfect. So that is looking very, very nice. I'm going to select this, hit Control Shift C to precompose it. I'll call this GL underscore 01. That is glitch and hit OK. So now we have our glitch animation. I want to add a really interesting RGB effect to our glitch. And to do that, it's very easy. What I need to do is 
First of all, select this layer, hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. Go into Fix and Preset and type in Shift Channels. Double click to apply that up. Set this, set the red one to full off and the green one to full off and just keep the blue one turned on. Then duplicate this, hit Ctrl D. Then set the blue one to off and turn on the green one. So I'll call it so just like that. Select this at Ctrl D, turn off the green one and turn on the red one. So now we have something like this. Then let's select both these layers and set the blending mode to, I guess add should work good. If you don't see this blending mode option, you can hit F4 and that should make it visible. And then what I'm going to do is just hop one frame forward by hitting page down and then move the green layer just one frame forward then go again one frame forward and just move the second layer that is the red one and now we get this super cool glitch effect pretty nice right now as you can see there is a lot of detail into the animation which is super amazing and anytime you can change the text that you want and the effect is gonna look absolutely amazing. But now we wanna make it look even more complex. So what I'm gonna do is select all the layers, hit Control Shift C, call this RGB. You could of course call it anything that you can remember. And then I'm gonna create three copies of this. So hit Control D two times. So now we have three copies and go one frame forward in time or maybe two frames I think. Move this one right over here. Go two frames and move this one just like that. Now I'm going to select the bottom one, let's actually go right here, select the bottom one and I'm going to create a mask very randomly just like that, select the second one, create a mask just like so, select the third one and select a mask just like that. Now obviously I need to fix some stuff so to do that I'm going to select this points and just move this a bit, alright and now what this is going to do is add a little bit of delay into the animation now it's very subtle but it looks very nice as you can see we have a little bit of delay now if you want you can obviously move this a bit more forward in time and that should look pretty weird because it has that weird delay but as you can see we get a really interesting look but i think two frames works pretty well for this effect Yep. Pretty nice. Now I'm going to select all the composition, hit Ctrl Shift C and call this title. And on the title you can obviously use your traditional After Effects Globe but I personally like to use Deep Glow. Deep Glow is a paid plugin but it is absolutely amazing. I definitely recommend you guys to go ahead and check it out. It's not it's not a sponsored video or something. I just genuinely love it so I'm going to use that for now. But you can of course use traditional glow if you want to but I definitely recommend you guys to go ahead and check out Deep Glow because it helps you to achieve some amazing glows. So I'm going to set this to point 0.1 and right off the bat you can see our glitches are looking so much better as you can see before and after now it's not mandatory to use it but i definitely recommend it you can see super cool and one more thing that you need to do is set this to 16 bits per channel to get a really nice glow without any color color bendings also i'm gonna hit ctrl y and add a background hit ok put this below and there you go there you have your super cool glitch animation the last thing that i may do is animate the glow so i can select the title go into effects and control create a keyframe on the exposure go forward in time and set this to zero hit u and maybe tweak this a bit pretty nice right and there you go, there you have your super cool glitch text animation instead of After Effects without using any plugins. Obviously, Deep Glow is optional, but you can do it with your default glow as well. So, yeah, that is a wrap for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure to subscribe, comment, like, and follow me on Instagram at dope.motions. I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care and always stay raw, stay creative. Peace out.